the channel guys so we're back on with the 89 um, and if you haven't seen the previous episode go check that out um, basically the scuttle was tacked on I'll just quickly re you know recap this scuttle was tacked on um, just literally nibs along the top there and what's, what it has not done and not helped with is none of that was prepped um, there's gouge marks and all along here it's corroded here it's corroded quite badly here um, so we're gonna have to kind of do if you've seen the MPI build that we did where we did the front end and some seals and bits and pieces on that car, you'll see that I had to completely re rebuild the top of the, the bulkhead up purely because because the later minis rock back there. I had to put the dash rail and everything in. The dash rail on this car is absolutely solid. There's no corrosion on it whatsoever. It's literally along there, but it gives me a chance to clean that back. So what we're gonna do is so make a strip in here. Probably do it in two sections like I did in the, in the Cooper because it's a bit easier to piece together. So obviously it's gonna be a continuous weld all the way along there and then plug welded or spot welded, whichever I decide to do along there, then clean it all back. Then we've got the little piece in here that I've already made up in the last episode. We ran out, we ran out of gas, so, you know, uh, stopped the plate. But what I have done, as you've just seen then at the beginning of the video, I've just started to clear back a little bit of stuff out of the way here. Just pop the wiring loom back inside the car. Like I said, we are replacing the wiring loom, um, but I don't want to get rid of it just yet because I kind of want to know when they get the new loom in, when we build the car back up, if I leave everything plugged in, it's a bit easier. So we've obviously got paint manual and things like that. And, other cars and photographs and stuff to look at but there's a few bits and pieces i just want to make sure they stay where they're meant to be all of this is coming out soon but really with the access i've got in this garage i can't can't bring myself to get and do them clever spins anyone that has a mini knows clever spins on the collection brake mass cylinders are horrible to do um so when i've got a bit more access um i might even wait until it's up on the rotisserie spit just so i can get in there a little bit nicer um but we are probably ditching this all together anyway when we build the car and um, we're gonna go back to the older style with some big four pop brakes and stuff like that so um you know, the car's going to be outrated anyway. I just think these look awful in the engine bay. Um, there's, there's yeses and nos whether they're worth having in cars. Personally, I prefer how an older Mini like brakes with the solid master cylinder and the bigger brakes and stuff like that. I think if you do that package and do it well and you refurbish everything, I think it's a better setup. Um, also, I think these look dreadful in the engine bay. They're so ugly. Um, so that's an aesthetic side of things, I guess. But so I'm not too bothered if I catch this or you know damage it. We will take it out gently and obviously preserve it and keep it and put it away because we might go that route. But right now the plan is to get rid of it altogether. Um, it all needs refurbishing anyway. So all the brakes in this car were because it sat for five years before we started the restoration, you know, and it's now you know it's sat longer. So it's no point. Um, we'll refurbish everything. So in this episode we plan to get all this refurbed up, get this done, back ready to go, this repaired. Um, to the point that the scuttle can go on then we'll do the scuttle and then we've got these lower wings to cut out and put squares in and re re refurb that up what i have done is i have ordered some new uh, teardrop mounts for the subframe um, and you can probably see in some of the shots the subframe just sat under the car here so we'll get that cleaned up um, we'll get it stripped basically so it's easier to handle and put in and then we'll get that fitted back in place once the scuttle's on we can start getting the front end on so that's the aim of the game this episode bulkhead repairs unfortunately I've got another bulkhead to repair. Didn't think I'd have to do it on this car. So without further ado, I'm going to start getting some tools out. 
we'll start trimming some stuff back and we'll start getting going. Also, I have you all here. If you haven't already, please just consider subscribing to the channel. We've got plenty of builds coming up. I've actually got another car arranged to be coming up that you might, you guys might be interested in seeing as well. Um, basically, I, I really struggle for space, uh, so I'm having, I'm doing another swap deal. Uh, so some work for some work, um, and it, I think it's something you'll, you'll enjoy. It's something a little bit different. I mean, I've done the same work on another car, but it's a different vehicle altogether, and it's a very nice looking car, um, and it's going to be nice seeing. No, I'm not, not going to go too far. You'll see it soon. Um, but I've got some, some welding to do on that car. So we will obviously continue to go with the 89, but we have some other bits and pieces to do. So, like I said, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like this video, and comment below, share it around your friends, put it in some forums, stuff like that. That's really, really try and get these restorations boxed off and done. All your support is massively appreciated. All right, so I thought I'd just bring you all in quickly. So this is the worst bit of the car. So you can see I've just cut out, got some strips here of steel made up that I've just used for another repair panel that I didn't cut out. So what I'm gonna do is like I say, I'm gonna cut out the worst. Um, and eventually I'll end up replacing this whole top, but I don't wanna do it all in one go. Um, but this is the worst bit and it's actually a taking the dash rail. So what we're gonna do, so we're gonna cut this bit out kind of put it in a section so like I say um, but obviously I need to get to that side to repair this little piece first um, but from what's there the actual dash rail looks mint it's just this piece here which I think the rust has just got so bad it's a dead center of the screen as well so I bet the join for the rubber was there um, and it's just it's just dripped through uh, but yeah we're getting there I'm gonna do my best and clean everything else up um, but yeah like I say along here is not too bad there's a bit in the far 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 corner over there that actually has come down really quite far and it's come really low down so that's probably gonna need a lot more work but all of that along there is actually in really really good shape you can just see where drill spot welds out um so this i think all along there will get replaced and then obviously the piece over on the other corner but we'll focus on this first because this is obviously working our way back out so we'll cut this piece out along here and then section that and then we'll work repairing that and then bringing it back out again Wow, this brings back memories of good old MPI days. Um, so yeah, so you can see I've cut a strip all the way out. So you can just see inside the car there. Um, but I've cut some, basically used one mil tape and I made use that as my template to just cut along because the rest of this is really good. Um, but obviously we're gonna have to make this little piece up that's missing from the dash rail now. Hammer and dolly all this straight, get some rust treatment on it. You can just see some surface rust starting to creep through on it. If you get up nice and close. So it's really good that we cut, kind of doing the whole thing, might as well. Because um, all that's gonna happen is it's gonna sweat all the three panels when you got the dash rail, your bulkhead, and then your scuttle on top of that, it's just gonna expand. And it's just, it's just no point. While it's like this, I don't have to do it. So all this is cleaned back nicely. So what I'm gonna start doing now 
which is tidying all this back, um, repair this first, and then what we'll do is try and get the first big strip in, tacked in. Once everything's tacked in, I'll cut the other bit out the other side with how far I want to go there. Basically from there, there's about a five mil gap, not five mil, five inch gap, which is actually quite good. Um, but I think I'm just gonna do the same again, might as well, for the metal, and just cut it all out, because then, like I say, both these corners have been repaired. A whole top of the dash rail, top of the bulkhead, then where the scuttle will meet is brand new. Um, and I think that's a better way to go. So might as well worry at this point. So yeah, I'll just keep on going. I'll try and film as much as I can, guys. Um, like I say, comment below if, you know, if you remember this from the MPI, you'll know how frustrating this was. Although I had to put about that much in on the MPI in a lot of the places. I used to come out right down to there and make all this profile back up. So a lot more tricky. This should be a lot more simple to do. So, as you can see, I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer. Did that repair, you actually can't really see it, which is obviously a sign of a good repair. So now we've made up this dash rail again, I've just put some zinc primer along it, um, just so it's got something to weld to and it's protected, I've cure, not cure rusted, but I've used my um, rush treatment that I have. And then I've made up a, a big strip Right, so I've decided to plug weld it for no particular reason, just fancy doing it. Um, I think because I need to weld, tap, weld, kind of tap, and I think it's going to be easier to do knowing that I've got more control over it with the MIG welder. Um, so I've made this big strip up, like I said, and that basically isn't far away from being on there. So that paint's still wet, so I won't set it on there, but it still needs a little bit of trimming. I need to take a little bit of this metal off and I need to fettle it. But what I'm going to do is start welding it in and then we will, but obviously you can see that replaces that complete lip all the way along there. And then we'll do it in two sections, like I said, and we'll carry on doing that piece over there. It's a lot worse in that corner, um, but we've obviously had to do this repair here. So I'm happy that bit's done now. And then we can set that in there. Didn't really want to be doing this. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, I thought this would be a lot easier just to get the scuttle on, but um, this is actually what's left of a repair panel from the uh, Unos Roadster. So, <laughs> You can't really knock it. You got to look. Up, you got to, like I said, don't ever throw away panels that you don't use. So it's good, decent steel. Um, and you can see I've got another strip cut there, ready to start sorting that side out. But for now, I'm going to have some lunch.
bit's really nice and that's the first bit done. I'm really, really quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's virtually invisible um, and you can't even really, there's a little weld you can just see there, which I'm not gonna go mad grinding back because you're never gonna see it again because the back part of the skull there sits on it. Um, but it's all nice, nice and smooth and I know I can weld this happily to this knowing that both all of this is nice and clean. Um, the only obviously final thing I'll do before I put the scarlet in, it will be clean the inner edge out, but right, let's keep us keep going as we are. Got another strip of metal, let's shoot along that way, and let's get this buttoned up. So there we go, a bit of a closer look for you guys. So you can see obviously I put the strip of metal in and then just hammered it around to the contours because you've got like these little marks and stuff like that and impressions on the bulkhead. And now that is a nice clean surface. If you remember what we had before, that's a nice clean surface to, to weld to. So you can see where I've stopped. Um, and now I've got the other strip of metal that I've cut to carry along with. This is gonna take a little bit more work, I think. So once I've got this cut out, I won't bore you with cutting another piece out because you see me do that bit. Um, and we'll see how bad that is. Hopefully this, this is all good here, but I can see me having to come down quite low like I did with the, the MPI because it looks quite rough on the inside. So let's get going. So as you can see here, I've had to kind of form that, but like I say, you saw me do, just tack it and start welding. It's the best, best way I know how to do it. Um, that needs a bit of addressing, but remember all this gets covered. You don't have to go mental, but there is actually, isn't actually a lip at all there. So I welded it nice and flush. Um, yeah, so the whole thing, I did this bit here off camera and then we married it all up and joined it. So we now have a solid bulkhead. So let's get some primer on it. So I am absolutely buzzing with that. For you guys, I don't know how I'm going to do the video yet, but it might be 15 minutes. This is actually taking like pretty much a day. So when I say a day, it's taking about five hours. Um, just cutting, cleaning, waiting for paint to dry. obviously in between all of this stuff, there's paint. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's a big job done. I didn't actually think I'd have to do this job on this car. I'm being completely frank. Um, I honestly thought it was okay until I saw how badly the scuttle was put on. I kind of thought I'm into something here, it's going to continue. Uh, but we're sorted. I have noticed there's a hole in the bottom of the bulkhead here as well, right where this um, bonnet release cable pops out. So once we've got this out of the way, um, I'll get in there and tackle that. But I can do that with the front end on, it's not a problem. It might be like one of the last jobs we do. But it's all in paint. It's all been cleaned back behind. I will put like a line of seam sealer along the top. I always do just to protect everything so you don't get any water in that seam. You know, God forbid that 
this the seal failed because rubber seals these days aren't the best. Um, so I already take I already always take precautions. Um, right, next video. I think we're trying to get a scuttle on. I think I think we'll start lining it up. Um, we'll get that on and get the closers on. I get all that done in one episode. Uh, that'll be a quite a big feat for this car. Obviously, that means we can now build from forward from that. Um, and then what's left after there is I'm going to cut these bottom bits of these wings out, clean everything back, and try and get the wings a little bit nicer. Um, we've just ordered some teardrop bushes from Mini Mine, so we we'll get the postage is always decent, so I know I'm going to get them the next day. Um, so that's all I'm missing. I've got all the rear mounts and stuff for the car to line the front subframe up. So off camera, I'll strip the subframe down because you guys don't need to see that. Um, so I'll get the subframe bare, so it's just easier for me to handle. Get that bolted back up into the car. Um, and we'll start lining things up, but that's the kind of next episode on. We'll get the scuttle on first because we can't do a front end without scuttle. Um, and we'll work forward from there, but I'm pretty happy with that progress. It's a big job off the list. Um, it was a job that's actually not actually on the physical list because I didn't know I had to do it, but we can take it off mentally. So I'm going to leave you now while I go and get some buckets because you probably can't catch this on camera, but there's a big puddle forming here where the garage is leaking again. Um, one day we won't be in that situation, but you know, we're cracking on and that's the main thing. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Um, like I say, there's a couple of new projects on the way very, very soon. Um, loads of bits and pieces still on this obviously we're going to keep building and building and building this to a point it can go on a rotisserie spit get the underside finished completely get some paint on it get the subframes back on it the day this car rolls will be a very happy day for me um and then we can obviously really crack on with prep but we've got a lot of panels still to put on this car um but if we can get the scuttle one closes on that's another three on the car and then when we get the front end on that's you know another two a panels two wings and a front panel so you know we're, we're cracking on we're getting rid of all these panels that are getting kicking around so like I say, subscribe to this channel, we've got so much more to see. Um, if you haven't already, please check out our sponsors in the description below, Frost Restoration. Um, we have uh, got a few little bits and pieces kind of getting sorted with them guys, uh, tool-wise and uh, project-wise. So catch you soon in that. Um, but yeah, look after yourselves guys. If you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it about your friends. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't have to bulkhead repair for a long time now. Catch you next one guys, see ya.